it's difficult being at the top when things are good. It sucks. Like it still not, sucks it's not just a lot. Things are yeah. bad, but I think part of that probably comes into play when you, with what you're talking about is is having to create those scenarios. Mm -hmm. um, and I think a lot of that is almost it's like comes down to treating life and treating day to day like as a game. Mm -hmm. Like if you know that when you wake up tomorrow, it's going to be fire after fire after fire mm -hmm. to put out, situation after situation to deal with, and you and you just expect it. It's mm -hmm. almost like to you, it's just like it's just okay. Friday. With our recruiting process with our company, uh, it's very, very, very in depth. We want someone that's going to get to 100,000 and say, okay, great, I've gotten to 100,000. What do I need to do to get to 150, to get to 200, to get to 250? And when they get to 250, that they're still itching at what does 300 look like? What does 350 look like? What does 400 look like? And so it's painting a picture for us is, is that person someone that's going to be hungry and always looking um, for that next level of success? But what we find in that process is those that haven't even thought about it may fear what that level of success brings. The single biggest indicator of success in a person is the ability, this is important, the, the ability to perform and execute at a high level even when they don't feel like it. So I'll say that again, the single biggest indicator in my mind, the single biggest indicator of, uh, of someone that's going to be successful is how they operate at a high level. They execute at a high level even when they don't feel like it. Every successful person travels a painful journey. Suffering is an integral and essential part of any real pursuit of success. Nothing about success comes easy, but every painful story has the potential to have a successful ending. And that becomes fear because it's based out of uncertainty. Like, I, I don't know how I would handle, you know, this, this level of success. And so much of the time, uncertainty is the basis of where that fear comes from. And so my question to you guys, my challenge is, you know, the level of success that you've attained so far, is it possible that there is a fear of the next level of success? Is there, is it possible that there's a fear of the responsibility that comes with the next level of success in your life? Is there a fear of the increased workload that is not only going to be required to get to the next level of success, but is going to be required once you get there moving forward and how different that is from what you've done today? Is there a fear of the uncertainty of not knowing what it's going to take once you get there or what it's going to take to get there? And is it possible that the fear of success is actually holding you back more than the fear of failure?